sleepy waves chicho i'm currently looking for a job i've been freelancing eight years i want something to bring stability routine in your opinion what industry you think are going to do well in the next years you're always coming with the economics personal finance questions sleepy waves eh? by the way have all these discussions uh, personal finance discussions we've had have they been helpful I hope so have they been helpful while I think about your question what industries education is one um, but you can't the industries you don't want to be in are the ones attached to bureaucracy governments right because at some point that funding is gonna die off and as soon as that funding dies off you're gonna get axed right because first of all if you're just going into it it's seniority based so first first in first out there's certain terms used in uh, processing data or industry with machinery and it just uh, what's it called and i learned this in when i did sap uh you know first in last out first in first out last in first out and stuff like this but last in is going to be the first one to go right if you get into bureaucracy because the funding is drying off for these fuckers right a lot of countries governments are downsizing they have to they have no choice right so i would say do definitely do not get into government jobs uh fifo yeah 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 first in first out thanks elder god awesome um but education is one so basically look around you see what systems are collapsing and provide an alternative to those systems right uh, that's for making money that's a job opportunity for investing i would say tangible items do not go into so for example i'll give you guys an example in the last two weeks really right i found out that two people got burnt through crypto scams right one person friend these are people i know right one person had their bank accounts emptied gone another person got scammed through a crypto uh, investment thing right lost a shit ton of money right also know someone else that uh, uh, through a real estate scam that the banks approved that the banks approved right they got the blessing of the bank they risked everything and they lost everything right so their house was paid out paid off but they have to sell the house so they had to sell the house they lost so much that a paid off house it was lost and they had to move into rental into an apartment small apartment with someone else like holy fuck right so there's lots of scams happening so first thing you do you shouldn't fall for anything that's you got to get into it now you got to get into it now if anybody's trying to sell you something on that level it's a scam most likely right it could be legit but fucking be very careful don't bet the farm right in terms of investment or even in terms of signing the contract to work for them right because there might be some liabilities that are coming your way right make sure you move slowly in terms of in times of turmoil like this because it could be devastating i've seen three people so far in the last two weeks that lost everything right lost everything and they you know i'm not talking about they only had a few thousand dollars i'm talking about they had a fucking shit ton of money right they lost everything Right. one of them didn't lose everything but they had to sell the house that, that's a different person the one that sold the house they lost everything but moved yeah they lost everything another one had to sell the house they got scammed the crypto thing to be able to pay certain obligations right be careful incredible times incredible time